Hey everybody, Seth Theo is here for Campus Insiders, ready to set the table for you. The first full day of March Madness, it's the round of 64. Here are three games that I have my eye on for this Thursday. First of all, in the Midwest region, in Orlando, we've got North Carolina State taking on St. Louis. We know that NC State was able to advance over Xavier once again behind the exploits of TJ Warren. He had 25 points, is a big time score, not a big time three point shooter. I think that North Carolina State is coming in a bit on a roll, but St. Lewis, their defense is just too strong. I think they'll be able to shut down TJ Warren, at least contain him, and the Billikens will be able to advance. Later on today at 6.55, we're going to see St. Joseph's taking on UConn, the 7 seed against the 10 seed. UConn coming in a little bit stumbling, uh, having lost to Louisville in the finals of the American Conference Final, and St. Joseph's has been on a roll. They've won 9 of their last 11. They've got a great outside shooter in Langston Galloway, but it's their six foot eight senior forward, Halil Kanasevich, who will make the difference in this game. Not a big score, but he leads the team in rebounding and assists. It's an unusual combination, and I think that will be enough for St. Joseph's to be able to prevail. And then finally, one of the nightcaps tonight, 9.50 tonight on TNT. It's Louisville taking on Manhattan. Rick Pitino has a four seed complaining that he's got to play uh, his former player and assistant coach, Steve Mazziello, but it's Mazziello should have to complain about facing the Louisville Cardinals. Russ Smith has obviously been fantastic this season, but it's been Montrez Harris the big man up front. He had 22 points and 11 rebounds in the conference final against UConn. He is a grown man on the interior, and he will show that as Louisville will win. Hope you enjoy the first full day of March Madness and follow all the action here on CampusInsiders.com.